And where does the mom come in that's departed? Is that your mom? I feel like I could smell your mom. <laughs> she liked very fragrant perfume, and I'm allergic to it. So I would be like, oh, mama, did you put perfume on again? You're killing me. <laughs> I got in the car with her one time and she had just doused herself in it. And I, um, it gives me asthma immediately. She'd be like, well, I just put on a little. I mean, there she is. Now we know that she's watching. <laughs> did you write something about your mom or did you write her eulogy? Yeah, I spoke. So know that she wants to thank you for the most amazing and beautiful tribute. She made me feel like that it was really a true celebration of her life. Yes, we, it was a party, and uh, uh, we had a lot of laughs. Fireworks, wow, everything. Was her body physically viewed? Mm hmm Did you redo her makeup, or did you have it redone? Because she goes, there's just one thing, Teresa. I go, what? And then she started wiping off my lipstick and replaced it. We changed her lipstick. And we, we made sure that it was in the casket with her, too, because you never know. A girl might need to freshen up. You never know. <laughs> Crazy things have happened on the other yes, side. we changed that. Perfect. So know that how you chose to lay her to rest, she supports the choice and decision. Oh, good. My mother's first name was Dorothy. Everybody called her Dot. She was prim and she was raucous at the same time. You know, that's kind of a Southern thing. My mama was totally a Southern belle. And it was a whole ensemble. The shoes matched and the everything all the way up. But she was total steel magnolia. I mean, she was iron. She did show me how to be a mother that sort of devotion and dedication. So I was always very grateful to her for that. Were you not expecting her to pass? Because she said, tell her I'm sorry that I had to leave so quickly. 